for a sec. Just there, there's a lot of people standing in the back. I don't know if you see them because they're behind you. But if we could invite those people in to kind of. Yes, there are plenty of seats uh, further up. Uh, please move on in. Um, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, right there. Oh, yeah, please uh, so my question is, um, what are your unique ideas uh, or, and or strategy to bring towards fundraising for SSDP on the national level that makes you stand out from all the other candidates running for board of directors? Excellent, excellent question. All right, minute each, and we're going to start down here with Andrew and work our way then with Helen. Thank you very much. Uh, fundraising is one of the most important things that the board does, um, and it's also very challenging for individuals. Um, so, some of my fundraising experience, um, my summer after my freshman year, I worked with a local environmental nonprofit doing some of their assistant uh, fundraising research and really looking at individual, looking at not only individual donors but also corporate donors uh, and corporations who could possibly uh, inter interconnect with us. Um, I'm also now currently enrolled in a grant writing course learning about the progression of nonprofits and the importance of certain fundraising, not only in the means, but the who you're targeting. Um, so I think it's, it's really important to transcend beyond uh, what has drug policy reform has gained much of its money from, which is very large individual private donors, to looking at local um, you know, companies, so either in-kind donations when you're looking at food for a, um, a chapter event, or even sending certain people to other locations. Oh, I definitely agree with Andrew, uh, but I also think this also does hit on the communication aspect. If we do have this kind of communication and brainstorming on the state and regional level, we can come up with ideas that will work within our communities of ways to, you know, asking actual fundraising so we can bring money into the organization. Because different arguments, different asks definitely work for different people in different regions. Uh, I think in the South you have to hit on different aspects of, of what SSTP does than you might have to do in the Northeast. So I think that that's really one of the most important parts. If we have this real framework of communication, um, we can brainstorm these ideas, uh, ways to really fundraise, bring more money in than just the board. We can even have chapter members and leaders bringing money in uh, because they understand you know, how to do these asks and how to, uh, how to build their chapter and the organization as a whole. I think it's important to, to broaden the the, the base of, of people that we, we can go to for money. And um, you know, I, I think personally, um, you know, having worked in business for, for a little while and uh, you know, going to law school and, and planning and working um, for, for uh, uh, you know, doing litigation at a law firm for at least a few years, um, I think I have a lot, of, a lot of contacts and a lot of friends in those worlds who are really supportive of, of SSDP and of drug policy liberalization, but who aren't, you know, wouldn't necessarily, um, you know, end up talking to somebody who would ask them for to donate um, ordinarily. And you know, I, I think I'd be able to bring that experience. Uh, yeah, well, I have uh, three ideas for fundraising. That I'm, uh, number one, actually, what I'm doing in Ireland is uh, working with uh, local businesses. So if there's one coffee shop, in, uh, for instance, who you know they donate some money to us. Uh, obviously, that's a very small scale. Second idea is events. Uh, we are in touch with a lot of local bands back home and a lot of major bands as well, um, including the editor of Hot Press, who has interviewed uh, many, many major bands. We've already met up with him, and he's recommended a ton of bands for us to uh, like make money out of. Um, been, been in touch with a lot of um, a lot of uh, places as well, uh, concert halls in Ireland. Thirdly, um, I'm making I'm designing these lighters at home. Um, actually, they're just little lighters and they have just uh, men's on them. I just kind of thought, well, what's current? What would sell? Well, men's, you know. So you have like the stoner dog, all these kind of crazy ideas. But on the back, you just have SSDP. So it's not only just making money. Like these, these only cost fifty cent per piece, and we're selling for three euro. But you also um, it's brand awareness as well, which is important. Okay. Well, uh, in Mexico we haven't discussed a lot about fundraising, you know. Uh, we are thinking about, first I think we can make t-shirts and stickers, something like that, and um, sell it on, on the events we have, like concerts. Because yeah, we have, what we do have is a lot of events, debates and forums. But, well, like I said, we haven't discussed a lot about this, no, we haven't touched the subject yet. But we are doing so the t-shirts and the stickers thing and, and talking to local business to to see if they can spur something for us. Alright. 
so small and kind of asks are very important. However, they will never make up the majority of the funding for any national nonprofit organization, whether it's drug policy or not. What I do think we should start taking advantage of is I'm very fortunate in the fact that I live only 45 minutes outside of Miami. I'm literally 45 minutes away from one of the founders of SSDP, Sean Howard, who I am incredibly close Ooh. to. And, <laughs> and we know that Miami is where DPA funds from, it's where MPP funds from. There's no reason why it's not the place where SSDP is going to fund from. We have all the tools to do major fundraisers and major fundraising in Florida, specifically from Miami to West Palm Beach. I mean, the amount, it's one of the wealthiest places in the country. I mean, I don't want to say the world, but definitely within the North, you know, the North America region. Um, so, yeah. So, we've had to focus at, at, a ch at the chapter level 100% on fundraising because we had a policy that prevented us from getting funding for two years. Um, so when I founded my chapter, I was approaching small businesses, um, specifically friends of mine that kind of smiled on drug policy reform and uh, said, you know, hey, we have the ability to take ta tax deductible donations so it can actually be written off. And I talked to about three or four people about it before I realized it was just too much for me to handle at the time. I didn't really know how to approach it. But I have been back in contact with a few of those people and have said, you know, I might be running for national organization. And, you know, I, that's what I really like doing is just going up to people that I barely know or know little about and talking about SSDP and seeing, you know, if they have money, if they're willing to donate. And sometimes, you know, we've had the state's attorney donate to us as soon as we pretty much found it, so I'm hoping I can bring that experience to the national board as well. 